Cleveland native on a mission to save a Cleveland landmark. She started an online petition to preserve the Cleveland Playhouse Complex at East 85th and Euclid. That building was the home to the original Playhouse Theater. News 5's Jesse Schultz spoke to the woman making sure the history of that building stays intact. This site at East 85th and Euclid Avenue may not catch your eye, but if the walls of the building could talk, these would sing. There's so many things about the Cleveland Playhouse. They're, you know, one of the first um, of their kind, really, um, back in the 1920s when they started as a professional theater. And Built in 1927, this was home of the Cleveland Playhouse, where patrons and performers came together for 80 years. And if that's not special enough, in the 80s, renowned Cleveland architect Philip Johnson remodeled it. That's his only work that actually is an example of his architecture in the city. In 2009, the Cleveland Clinic purchased the complex, but lately there's been some concern the clinic may demolish it. Bridget Engasser lives in Virginia, but grew so up in Cleveland sure. and has fond memories of the theater. Every time I go back to Cleveland, it's, it's cool to see all the development and new things that are being built, but I would just hope that some of the past can also be preserved. She took preservation action into her own hands and started an online petition to save the theater. I thought, well, it'd be interesting to see how many people really do care. And they do. More than 1,500 people have already signed it. People who worked there, performed there, volunteered there, took their kids there to see plays. People who just care about the history of the neighborhood and how it's changing. In an email, a Cleveland Clinic spokesperson said no plans for the building had been finalized. But in the meantime, Engasser is working to get it on the Ohio State Historic Preservation List. But even that, a national or an Ohio Historic Preservation on the building, wouldn't prevent Cleveland Clinic from demolishing it. Um, what could would be the Cleveland Landmarks Commission. She's hopeful that the tales of the building's past will forever stay a part of Cleveland's future. Reporting in Cleveland, Jesse Schultz, News 5. Looks great. We've reached out to the Landmark Commission and the Ohio State Historic Prevention Office, but we have not heard back.